I'm not depressed all the time, but I don't dwell on it all the time either. I really do try to keep sort of a say la vie attitude about it. Three years ago, Vicki Bukovic began losing her memory. A battery of tests at the Lou Ruvo Center for Brain Health confirmed the worst. Vicki has Alzheimer's. Everything that I take for granted is um, up for getting forgotten. An Alzheimer's diagnosis is a special kind of hell for the patient. A daily existence of being lost in the tall weeds. Unsure of your next step, never remembering your last. But there's a breakthrough to tell you about. A drug that can offer the Alzheimer's patients the hope of emerging from this thicket of confusion. 2016 in Las Vegas we think is a milestone year. Dr. Jeffrey Cummings' excitement is based on the results of a gene therapy called aducanumab. It's shown the most promise of any Alzheimer's drug to stop the disease dead in its tracks. Its best use is on those in the early stages of the disease. The point of aducanumab is more to stop the decline rather than to produce improvement. Uh, and that would be a great victory. How does it work? Amyloid protein, or plaque, builds up in the brains of Alzheimer's patients, destroying memory and basic functions coded into the brain. Aducanumab triggers the body's immune system to break up the plaque. This is the only drug so far that has eliminated the plaque from the brains of Alzheimer's patients. This is plaque that's killing this the brain plaque. cells. This is plaque. That's plaque that's killing the brain cells. Dr. Cummings showed us MRIs from patients taken before and after treatment. See the reddish areas? That's the plaque. The higher the dose of aducanumab, the more plaque was wiped out. And at the end of one year, using the highest dose, the scan is actually now normal. Are there any side effects? There are side effects uh, of aducanumab because it's also pulling the protein out of the blood vessel. Uh, it sometimes allows fluid to leak out of the blood vessel. And we're not sure whether that's injurious to the brain or not, but we're concerned about it and we're watching it very, very carefully in these patients. There has not been an effective Alzheimer's drug brought to market in over a decade and the stakes could not be higher. Aducanumab is near the top of only a handful of drugs that have any chance to make it to patients in the next 10 years. By that time, Alzheimer's cases in Nevada could shoot up by as much as 80 percent. The cost to treat patients nationwide by the middle of the century would be a trillion dollars a year. And of course our economy cannot absorb a trillion dollars per year in cost. So this is a tsunami that's coming. All of those people are already alive. They're already developing their, their earliest stages of Alzheimer's disease. And we have to develop new drugs if we're going to manage that tidal wave of patients that are coming towards us. A white-haired tsunami. A white-haired tsunami. For Vicki and her husband Dick, aducanumab may be their last hope for arresting the disease in its tracks. Vicki's short-term memory is gone, but her long-term memory is intact, and that's where the couple hopes to stop Alzheimer's. Does that feel comfortable for you? Vicki is enrolled in the EMERGE trial. Once a month, she takes an hour-long infusion of something. It could be aducanumab, it could be a placebo. The couple is somewhat optimistic because Vicki has not shown any more signs of decline, but given Alzheimer's tenacity, the couple is also realistic. It's frightening, very frightening, and uh, this gives us hope, you know, you know in, uh, that it, at least in the future she'll be the same person we have now. Well, it's, uh, just have to keep... Um, focusing on what's right in front of me. Um, unless some miracle happens, it probably is going to progress like that. But I'll do whatever is offered to me to try to get better.